What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope everyone's having a good day. Old School Cards here and today we're going to get our first look at 2023 Panini Prism Baseball. I picked up this blaster and we're going to see if we can find anything good. But before we do, I also picked up this little mystery box with two factory sealed packs per box. Yes, it is the infamous um, MJ Holdings, I believe. Is that what they're? Yeah. And so it's probably not going to be any good, but you never know. Supposedly you can get a mystery card seated one out of every four boxes. Um, okay, that did not cut. Let's try this again. Maybe my exacto knife here is getting a little dull. No, maybe not. So one out of four, supposedly you get a mystery card. I don't know who knows what that mystery card would be. They got Mickey there on the cover. So it looks like we got no mystery card. And we got two packs. We got a uh, uh, 2021 Chrome Platinum Anniversary and then a 2022 um, UK Tops. So, okay. We might find something cool in there. Let's open this one first. We have opened a lot of these on the channel. Trying to build this whole set, which is gigantic. Tyson Miller. Hey, there's a Roberto Clemente. Nice. Tavares. And we get a Daniel Bard, that diamond style, um, which tells me that this was probably pulled, this pack was probably pulled out of a um, Hobby Light. Because I think the Hobby Lights were the only ones that had these, that style. So, okay. We will put, um, I'll put Roberto Clemente up there for now. And let's go into our UK edition. It looks like there's a Bobby Witt waiting for us there on the back. Kyle Tucker. Clayton Kershaw. Of course, these have the Union Jack flag on them. That's what kind of makes them different. Logan Webb. I think there's a little bit of variation on um, numbering and things like that, too. Josh Donaldson, Olsen, there's Thor, Garcia, Rookie Cup, and then a Bobby Witt Jr. Um, okay, it just says PG-19. I'm not really sure what card this is, but that's yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, so... I don't think the set is quite as big as the U.S. as the normal top set. Um, I think it's less cards, if I remember right. Of course, they've got the Union Jack there. But I think everything else is kind of about the same. A lot of these pictures look the same from last year's top set. We opened a lot of that on the channel, too. Let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff here. And then let's get into some Panini Prism Baseball. Don't really open a lot of Panini especially Prism, on the channel. And really, that's just because, you know, you guys know I like to build the sets. And this is kind of a... Panini is always a difficult kind of set to build because there's so many different parallels. Um, so we're, we should get a... This says new look for retail exclusive, the blueprints, the old ball game, and more. Um, Cal Ripken Jr. is featured on this quite a bit. There's two cards of his there. There on the back, and then there is a 300 base card set, and there's a whole bunch of different blue ice, green ice, silver ice, gray ice, all kinds of ice, shaved ice maybe too, who knows, a bunch of ice stuff, so we'll see. Uh, let's see, six packs per box, five cards per pack, so again, not a whole lot of cards for your bang for your buck, but... Still, a good rip. And hopefully we'll find some good stuff in here. Maybe we'll get lucky, find an auto. There's a McCovey on the back. Kai Bush. Max Wagner. There's a Bobby Witt Jr. That's nice. That's a Bobby Witt Jr. rookie card. That's pretty sweet. Dave Bancroft, green. And a Willie McCovey, blue. So, a lot of blues, a lot of greens. Um, this is really the base. So, I, with these, I always kind of separate Blues and greens with base, but we are going to sleeve that Bobby Witt Jr. Let me get some sleeves out here. 
because that card is pretty nice. And that is not a very bad start at all. Very solid start for us on this box. I bought two boxes of these. And then I also... Um, no, I did not buy any packs. I thought I did, but I'm thinking of another another one. But I did buy two blasters of these, so there'll be another blaster video coming soon. Uh, Perez, Wynn. There's Fergie. I like that card. There's a Blue Prince, Vlad Guerrero, and a Hayu Lee. Um, of course, none of these are numbered. That Blue Prince card's kind of neat, though. We'll set those aside, and then that goes into our base pile. This one feels actually kind of thick for some reason. Let's save that for last. Yeah, it feels a little bit bigger. Let's save that guy for last. Maybe we did get lucky and we pulled something. Jet Williams, Colson Montgomery, Alan Trammell. We get the old Bobby old ball game, Bobby Door. And Warren Spawn. That's pretty cool. Bobby Door. So I see a lot more older players in these than I do anything else. Paul Molitor, speaking of older players, there's Tory Hunter, another one. Aaron Zavall Zavla Zavala, maybe? That one's um, a refractor, too. So that's pretty cool. And then, of course, Babe Ruth there. That's neat. I'll set those there. That's more to the base. Um, yeah, that's a refractor card. So base prism, silver, green ice, blue ice... Base, Prism, Black, Finite, number one. They don't give you the odds in here. They just tell you kind of what, what you're going to find. But we found either a blue and green in every single pack so far. So my guess is you're getting just about one per pack. There's the Wizard. Berea. Willie Stargell. There is a 2080 scale arm 80 Mason Wynn. Okay. And a Drew Romo. I wonder if he's related to Tony Romo. But, uh, yeah, I do like Prism. They are nice-looking cards. And I like that these cards don't... I, I just feel like in the past with Prism, sometimes you kind of get cards that are maybe a little bit bowed. And these seem these seem pretty straight up, so that's good. But 300, it's a 300-card base set. So you can see we've gotten maybe... Um, I thought it was a 300-card base set. Yeah, 300-card base set. And we've gotten... You know, with one pack to go here, very little base compared to maybe some others. Now, this pack did seem thick for some reason, but now that I'm feeling it again, it doesn't, it doesn't seem that way. Caden Wallace, uh, Wisenhunt, there's Raleigh Fingers. We get a the old ball game, Bill Mazarowski, and a Sal Freelick Blue. So those go up there, and then, of course, these go to base. So if you're trying to collect this set, you're probably going to, be buying a lot of um, blasters and things like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen regular style base cards. And as you guys know, um, when it comes to my sets, well, eighteen if you include the Bobby Witt, I like to see just the regular style. I don't really like to see a lot of the different colors in my um, in my binders. So. These don't, I don't really count these towards, towards base in here, but they're pretty cool though, nonetheless. There was a green, I think that was, was that the only green we got? Yeah, it was the only green we got. Dave Bancroft, nothing numbered, so hopefully we'll have better luck in, in the next one, but nothing numbered there, so that's going to be it for this video though, so appreciate everybody watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell for notifications, and slam that like button, it really helps the channel out. And as always, I'd like to say, we live to rip another day. See you next time.